I'm Alex Romero. And I'm Zachary Hubert. Today is Thursday, February 16th, the day four on your schedule. Please stand for the prayer and the pledge. In your prayers, please pray for the repose of the soul of Captain Kenneth Matze, United States Marine Corps, year 2010, son of faculty member, Mr. Charlie Matze. Kenneth died suddenly earlier this week. Please keep Mr. Matze, his wife Sandy, and Kenneth's siblings and family in your prayers. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God of hope, we come together as community to pray for the Matze family. We know that you are, you are our strength and redeemer in life, and that, that you do not abandon us in death. When days are dark and heavy for anyone in our community, renew your love in each of us and help us to sustain those who most need your comfort and support. We ask that you surround the Matze family in your love and give them the strength to meet the days to come as we walk this difficult road with them. We ask for these and all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. John Baptist de la Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please remain standing for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. General, Lenten Small Groups. Lenten Small Group signups are open in campus ministry. Lenten Small Groups run during four Wednesdays in Lent, starting at 7.30 a.m. Join them for fellowship, reflection, and breakfast. Anyone interested in applying for peer ministry next year should be signed up for a Lennon small group. Haircuts. Please take advantage of the four-day weekend and get a haircut if needed. All night long. Students who signed up to help Mr. Freeman, please check your email for a change in the setup time. Student body president. See the week ahead with information about applying for student body president. Juniors interested in applying must have a leadership position in a major club or activity or been a previous homeroom representative. See links in the week ahead to apply by Thursday, February 23rd. Athletics, basketball tomorrow. Students who want to only attend the varsity basketball game versus Boys Latin tomorrow night can enter the gym as normal by the athletic office. Tickets are free for students who just want to attend the game. All night long students, those with a ticket for the dance, should enter the gym by room 130 and the MRC to get a wristband. Fresh off and JV athletic award ceremony. Tuesday, February 21st, today is the last day to sign up. School attire is required, sport coat and ties. JV Baseball, managers needed for the upcoming baseball season. Please see Mr. Who's in room 119 for information if you'd like to help. Outdoor track and field interest meeting. There will be an outdoor track and field interest meeting today at 3 p.m. in room 230, George Young. Tennis tryouts. Tennis trials will begin on Tuesday after school. Bring your racket and a change of clothes. Meet at the Cabra Hall Tennis Courts at 3.15 p.m. See Mr. Brown in the math office or room 111 with any questions. Rugby preseason clinic. There will be another preseason clinic this Saturday, February 18th, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the stadium for all new and returning players. 
Please bring weather appropriate clothing, please tennis shoes, mouthpiece, and water. For any questions, please contact Coach Matt. Ice cards. Congratulations to the varsity hockey team who will play for the championship tonight at the Garden Ice House at 6 p.m. in Laurel. Go Ice Cards. Tickets are $10 if you use the QR code on the screen or $15 in person. Today's sports schedule. Varsity hockey at Spalding, 6 o'clock away at Laurel. That's not all for us today, Calvert Hall. Please stay tuned for CHC Weather, a special message from your spirit director, Quinn Gardner, and BSU Trivia. As always, use the remaining time in homeroom to check your email. What's up, Cower Hall? Weatherman Romero. I'm returning once again to bring the local weather. Today and tomorrow's weather basically just going to be the same, both highs in the 60s, and it's just going to be rain at some point today and tomorrow. However, on the bright side, the lowest that it's going to get is about 56, but tomorrow's it's going to be 28. Saturday's high is going to be 46, following a low of 32, with, ironically, a pretty sunny day. Sunday is going to be relatively cloudy with a high of 52 and a low of 44. Then Monday's high is going to be 58 degrees and it's going to decrease on Tuesday to 51. Then the low on Monday is going to be 36 and Tuesday will be 42. That's all for me, Cover Hall. And now for your spirit director. Calvert Hall. I'm Quinn Gardner here with hockey superstar and reigning MIAA champ Liam Kanzler. What's up Calvert Hall? Liam and the rest of the ice cards have a big game tonight don't you Liam? Yes we do. Tonight we face off against Spalding Cavaliers to defend our title of the MIAA champions and we're not satisfied with just one championship. We're hungry for another one. That's what I like to hear. What would it mean to you guys to have your classmates cheering you on tonight? It would mean a lot. We love having you guys in the stands. We need you guys there to propel us to another title. I can't wait. If you want a ticket to see the ice cards go back to back, you can purchase them online for $10 by scanning the QR code that has been put on our TV slideshow. The game will be held at the Ice Garden in Laurel, which is a bit of a drive, so leave yourself enough time to get there by the puck drop at 6 o'clock. Can't wait to get, see you guys there. Can I get a haul, oh, yeah? week as black athletes continues. One of the most popular golf players of all time, Tiger Woods, brought a new wave of fans to the sport through his athleticism and creating an exciting, exciting environment during his matches. Starting his professional career in 1996, Tiger went on to win 15 major champions, championships and multiple tours. Tiger was also awarded the Presidential Measure Medal of Freedom and has been endorsed by several major companies. Although he is still active, Tiger's legacy will be remembered as one of the greatest pure athletes ever. The question today is what round did Jack Johnson knock out his famous opponent in? Please email the answer to Ms. Pikus at pikusm at calverhall.com. 